lovelies and welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to Spirituality Sunday. So as you can tell by the title of this video, today I am reading for Jussie Smollett. But um, I'm not just doing this video today, I have also done another video for R. Kelly. So I will leave the link for that down in the description box below. If you do like this video, remember to hit a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe to see more videos just like this one. And also comment in the comments. <laughs> who else you would like me to read for. Also, I have an Instagram page. I would highly recommend going over there and following because you can basically vote and be a part of who I read for um, and be the first to know when I'm going to upload as well. Obviously, I'm reading for Jesse Smollett. I know very little about the situation. I'm going to be honest. From the moment I kind of saw some of the stuff about it, I knew I was going to read for it. I just didn't know when. And when I know I'm going to read for something, I try not to... Um, delve too deep into it because I want to just kind of have a blank canvas. Apart from R. Kelly, I you know knew a lot about that because I just was interested in it, so I did go and kind of uh, watch a lot of that stuff. But Justice Minute, I know very very little about this. Um, I know that allegedly he has faked an attack on himself. Um, and I will research probably after the video because I like to see whether I've got stuff wrong or whether I've got stuff right. So, without further ado, let's get into reading for Jussie Smollett. I instantly, with Jussie, want to pick up the angel cards. <clears throat> because I feel he's actually a really good guy. A really good guy that has got caught up in something that a lot of people would be very surprised. People who know him, I'm not talking about people who follow him, I'm not talking about fans. Fans are surprised, but I mean people who know him, like his family and his friends, are extremely surprised. You know that like quiet guy in class that is nice to everyone and gets along with everyone? Like just imagine this being him. Like people are surprised that this is Jesse. Like that he's got himself into this situation. Um, I feel like Jesse was approached by a man and a woman in the industry to do this, but I feel like they approached it very differently to what happened. But do I feel like this is staged? Part of me wants to say no, but then part of me is like yes. The reason I want to say no is because I think what they actually said to Jesse was going to happen is not exactly what happened, but he did have a gist of exactly what was going to happen. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, he had a gist of exactly what was going to happen to him. He really did know. Um, so the angel cards we've got here is El Moira. So we've got Awakening Presence. The universe is with you. Wear a cloak of protection and love. The world is coming at him at the moment. He is receiving a lot of hate. Death threats. I see a lot of things being mailed to him. Like a lot of pen letters like wishing death on him. Like oh, it's not good. He's in a dark space where I don't think he's left his house for a while. Let's put it that way. Um, Joan of Arc, Voice of Truth. Stand strong, focus on your purpose, release the fear of persecution and speak your truth. This is what Jesse is not doing right now. I feel like, and I don't, like I said, I don't know much about it, but whatever he's being accused of, he is trying to say that he knows nothing about it. He didn't know anything about it. He, he's trying to say that he, he didn't have a clue, but that's not the full truth. The full truth, and I have to go with what I'm being shown in spirit, the full truth is that he did know something. He was aware of something. He may not have known the whole truth, but he knew some of it. Um, I'm seeing, I've seen pictures of those two um, guys, the, the African brothers. I can see them. I feel like they were heavily involved in this. But there is a guy, there is a man and a woman above, above Jussie and these two guys. There was a man and a woman who have not been found out, who have not been um, basically interviewed by the police or even suspected by the police, but they are the ones who have instigated all of this. Um, Lady Venus downloads an understanding. Truth is being revealed. Deep insights are coming from heaven and the astral realm. Within the next... Hmm... This is going to be a long, drawn-out process because people aren't being honest. And obviously, when people aren't honest, it's going to take a lot longer for the truth to come out. But the truth will come out. I'm being shown two to three, and I can't work out if it's two to three weeks or two to three months. It feels like a long process, so I want to say two to three months. It's going to take at least two to three months before we get any kind of um, um, outcome, 
any kind of persecution, any kind of truth. There are people in this, this is bigger than what it looks. Again, I'm not sure exactly what the situation is, but I, if it is the attack that they believe that's been faked, it's something bigger than that. There's something bigger than that that's being hidden, which is why people are lying, because there's more to lose. There's something more at risk here. Um, Gaia, Earth Connection, be mindful of the planet, come back to Earth and stay grounded. Um, when Jesse decided to do this, he wasn't in his right frame of mind. And when I say that, there is some drug or some alcohol abuse. That's what I'm getting. Lord Ganesh, infinite abundance, obstacles are being removed, spiritual support and connections are increasing. So as we come towards the end of the two to three months, um, people will start to, to speak the truth. Someone will break the cycle. I don't think it will be Jesse, but someone will start to break the cycle. Things will ease off. People will forget about this story. Like this is going to be one of those things. I feel like actually, and I don't want to be a conspiracyist on people. <laughs> Although I do believe in a lot of conspiracy theories, but I feel like this story, when I said there's something bigger going on, this story is being pushed into the public eye to hide something else. And whatever it was trying to hide, it's done its purpose. So you won't see a lot of people reporting on this for a while. It will die down. And then I think in two to three months, it will come out again when they are trying to hide something else and there's a verdict. Because that's why I say obstacles are being removed. So because the obstacles are now done with, they've kind of um, used the Jussie Smollett story to cover up something else. Now that's done. Um they can stop talking about it. And I think whatever they was trying to cover up, whatever they was using this story to cover up, Jesse knew about it. So I don't know what the heck on earth, why Jesse would do that or what benefit it had to him. But I 100% believe, you know, the news do that sometimes. Like sometimes there's things going on in the government and there's things going on that they don't want us to talk about and so what they'll do is they'll make distractions they'll create big big storylines and big headlines so that we're talking about that other thing instead of looking at what's going on we're looking at the right so we're looking at Jesse Smollett over here instead of looking at what's going on at the, over there which is actually more important and I feel like that's what they've done with this Jesse Smollett story and now whatever's going on over here has disappeared they're going to stop talking about Jesse now until they need to use that story again and I feel like whatever they was trying to cover up and whatever they was trying to hide I do feel like Jesse kind of knew about it um why am I being shown Jesse's mum why am I being shown Jesse's mum Was Jesse's mum like a mumager, a manager, someone who got him into this industry? Because I do see her very prominent when talking about it. I'm gonna take that. When talking about his career. She's very okay, yeah. Well the sun card has come out, which is new beginnings. Um very um prominent when talking about his career. Jesse could okay, I'm gonna have to take all of those because I've now got cards flying out at me. Um Jesse could be saved. Like, Jessie could be saying, I don't feel like Jessie's going to prison here. I feel like Jessie could be doing community service, 100%. I feel like Jessie could be doing community service, 100%, but I don't see him going to jail for this. Oh, God, there's a... There's, I'm pulling a lot of cards today. I am pulling a lot of cards today, right. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Okay. Mm. Okay. Jesse's not one of these people where I want to be like, he's ill and he doesn't know what he's doing and he's, you know, he's like in full mind and in control. He knows exactly what he's doing. Um, he knows exactly what, and he knew exactly what he was doing when he decided to embark on this adventure. Like I said, I don't think, um, 
I don't think Jesse's going to prison. Um, when he, when all of this does blow over, <clears throat> the world reverse. It talks about restriction and failure to move forward. Um, basically due to negativity being trapped in the past. Yeah, people aren't going to want to work with Jesse. So he's basically just screwed over his career. He's just screwed over himself there. <clears throat> there is a new beginning for Jesse because the sun sign has been pulled out. <clears throat> So there is definitely a new start that he can do, but for a long time, it's going to take a long time for people to want to work with him again. And that's it. That's a closed chapter. There's nothing else to say about that. Like, <clears throat> sorry, I'm losing my voice here. <clears throat> people are not going to want to work with Jesse. And because of that, you're going to hear about him being in debt. You're going to hear about him um, losing a lot of money. He's going to owe a lot of money in, in legal bills. The Five of Pentacles talks about hardship um debt poverty losing money low funds um yeah this is about money not being good and that is as a result of all of this stuff that he's decided to do he has no one else to blame there but himself however give it about three years and we will see jesse smell it come back Okay, so I don't want to say he's going to entirely disappear because I don't think he is. I think he's going to be prominent on whatever, whenever the truth comes out, it is going to be made in his favour. <clears throat> and there will still be people that look at him and think, no, you're still a liar. But it will still be made. I don't want to say he made a mistake because he knew exactly what he was doing. But he didn't know the full extent to how far it could go. And... He knows that he can't just come out and carry on as normal. There's no way he can anyway because a lot of his privileges have now been taken away. He's not gonna, he's not gonna have that kind of um, same power that he did. But after he, he'll still post on social media. He may do a few interviews. He's not gonna go away completely. But in like after about three years or so, when people forget about this whole story, he'll come back, and I do feel like he'll have like a big role in a big. Um, popular film and it will like catapult him back into the public eye and he'll actually have quite a good career um, reason being is he's pulled the eight of pentacles and the eight of pentacles is about opportunity and um, kind of like new opportunities coming your way new projects um, and moving forward um, into the future and then um, basically following that we have got the four of cups um, now the Four of Cups is about boredom and I just feel like that's what will happen when, you know, he hasn't got a lot of work going on. When work dies down for him, pff, he's going to have nothing to do. But that will, because he's had, because he'll have nothing to do, it will result in him doing those interviews. I feel like we'll see him do a lot of interviews. He'll have a lot to say. He'll want to talk about it. He'll want to, um, yeah, <laughs> exactly what I was going to say. Nine of Swords uh, reversed. He's going to play the victim and at the moment I feel like he can't talk because he's legally bound. But once he's not legally bound anymore, you're going to see him all over the shop. He'll be on Wendy Williams, he'll be on The Real, he'll be on CBS. I don't know what that is in America, ABC News, I don't know what it is. <laughs> one of those shows, he'll be on one of them. He's going to be talking, 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 talking. Because as far as acting goes, no one's going to want to work with him. No one wants to work with Jesse in the Hollywood realm of things. So he's got to keep his name going. He's got to try and salvage himself. And he thinks that the way to do that is by talking to journalists. Okay, and I actually feel like it will work in his favour, to be honest. I know it's probably like not the best way to go about things, but that's what he's going to do. Um, I've been told he's got a good publicist. So, yeah. He's going to keep talking. He's going to keep doing interviews. He's not going to shut up, basically. Um, yeah, literally, the death reverse card. He can't give up. Jesse um, is one of these people that needs attention. And, you know, he, he will be damned if this situation makes him give up his career. And he can't let it go, which is, like I said, why when he can talk, that's why when he can talk... He will. <laughs> he will. You will see him on the um, the TV shows. You will see him on on the news channels talking about this and telling his truth. And then, like I said, he will get a starring role. Someone will give him another chance, and he will be back in the in the spotlight again. Um, 
the hangman is going to talk about looking at situations differently i feel like that's his own personal perspective when he goes into himself after the court cases and things are done um he'll have like a reflective moment and think about how he can move forward and how he can basically change things um which is when he'll decide to start doing all these interviews which i think we will definitely see um there will be a delay in it it's not going to be as quick as he thinks it will be and that is basically to do with him thinking that if he starts talking to people people will remember who he is again and want to give him jobs it's not going to happen he's going to be talking 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 for a long time before anyone gives him any work um let me tell you he's burnt a lot of bridges um but after you know he keeps going keeps trying six of wands is triumph and reward like people will forgive him he will be forgiven that's the bottom line there's nothing else to it like he will be forgiven like i said there is definitely a big starring role for jesse like in in a film like in the next two and three two or three years there's definitely a big starring role for him sorry to, to sound like this because my voice is just like eh. <laughs> Ten of Swords is ending and I think that's the end of this chapter. When he starts, um, after he's doing these kind of interviews and whatever, I feel like it could be less than two or three years actually. It could probably be one to two years because I feel like this will blow over as quickly as it happened. Like I feel like people will still talk about it and people will joke about it like, haha, remember just it? Like it will become a joke. Like I don't think people will take it as seriously as they are at the moment. Obviously the fire is still hot you know but when the fire burns out people will not will look back at it and joke not with him no one's going to sit on a couch with him and be like haha jesse remember when you did this no i mean like people will be able to look at it with a lighter heart than they're looking at it now um and the ten of pentacles reversed is about family conflict and this to me again talks about the reason why a poor spoke about his mum and I don't know whether there's some conflict there with his mum and where where actually his mum might cut ties with him for a little bit and actually demand a bit of money from him I, I feel like that could possibly be the case um yeah but at the end of it all Jesse is gonna Jesse is a believer I think in the power of the mind and the law of attraction and he is gonna use that he is going to manifest a career from this bad time. Like, this will not be the end of Jesse. It will be the end of him for a little bit, but he will be back. So, that's my reading for Jesse Smollett. I'd love to hear what you think in the um, comments down below. Remember to hit a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Please do comment down below anyone else that you'd like me to read for and also head over to my Instagram because like I said, you can go over there and vote on who I read for next. Give your comments, views, opinions, get involved in my content and it's important that you get involved because I want to make content that you want to watch so make sure you do that. Remember to subscribe to join our lovely community and always see my videos when they go live. See you soon for another video lovelies. Bye!